This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create five different and cool looking title animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's gonna be a super fun tutorial. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. I'm going to call this title underscore 01. All right, hit OK. Then select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want to type in. I'm going to type in super. All right, and by the way, I'm using the Poppins extra bold font. I'll align this into the center. And to move the anchor point into the center, I can hold control and double click on the pan behind tool. And that's that. Then let's zoom in into our timeline. I'm going to go one frame forward. Let's hold alt and left square bracket or open square bracket to crop the layer. Then I'll jump two frames forward by hitting page down two times. Hold control shift D to split the layer. Then jump again two frames forward. Hit control shift D again. Let's jump two frame forwards and uh, actually two frames, not three. Control shift D. All right. So we have four layers of our text. Now let's jump to the first layer. I'm going to hit S and scale this layer way up just like that and move this to the right. And then using the rectangle tool, I'm going to create some mask like so. Now it's, it can be pretty abstract. Just like something like this. Then go into effects and preset and type in fill to add a nice color to our text. I'm going to go with kind of a dark pinkish type color. All right. I can hit control C and then let's go and paste it on the third layer that is super three control V. Now let's jump to the second one. I'm going to hit S to scale that up. Let's scale this up and let's place this one right here. And then again, I can select the rectangle tool and let's create a simple mask like this. All right, let's go right here. This is our third text layer. Hit S and scale this up like so. And again, make sure your rectangle tool is selected and I can just simply create some mask to add a nice abstract look. You know, something like this. Get a really cool look as you can see. And then I'll go to around, let's say one second. Let's close them up and right click and create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this snap. Hold alt and open square bracket to crop them up. Let's go two frame forwards, hold alt and close square bracket. And let's go into effects and preset and type in transform double click all right and again i'm going to add the fill effect so i can hit control c and paste it on to this adjustment layer and let's set the scale to around 120 or something and select the rectangle tool and create a mask like so we something like this Looks pretty good. Let's hit Control D to duplicate it. Put this right here. And I'm going to hit M to reveal the mask and delete them. And I'm going to create a mask into the center like so. So basically we have a very interesting and snappy text animation as you can see using some very simple and easy steps. So this is our title one. Now let's go ahead and create a title two. So I'm going to create a new composition called this title underscore row two. Hit OK. Select the text tool and let's type in the text that we want. I'm going to type in something like creative. All right. Let's align the anchor point into the center where it's not that necessary for this text animation, but you know, it's good to keep the anchor points into the center of the text so that we can animate them easily. 
anyway so let's jump into the text properties go into the animate and i'm going to add a position and let's also add a property of opacity for the position i'll bring that down to around let's go with something like 70 and the opacity down to zero now i can just simply animate the range selector so i'll go to one second set the offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back at zero frame set this to minus 100 go into the advanced properties set the shape to ramp up set the ease high to 30 percent and ease low to 100 percent and right off the bat we have a very cool looking text animation looks very elegant and smooth and finally I, I will also add a little bit of scale in anim say scale out animation so i'll select text hit s uh, create a keyframe go to around somewhere there and let's set this to 90 percent let's select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and right click select edit speed graph let's create a point into the center so i'm going to select the handle and holding shift i'm going to drag them and set the influence level to around 92 percent and this one to 92 as well so we have a very nice scale out animation as you can see and boom there we have our elegant text animation ready to roll now let's jump on and create a third title so i'm going to create a new composition called this title underscore or three hit ok and this time i'm going to actually copy this text effect this text layer sorry hit ctrl c ctrl v and let's first of all change the text to something different so i'm going to call this something like modern all right let's use a few animation from this all right so i'm going to jump into the animator one and use the pre-made animation for a set from our second title just one thing that i want to add here is a tracking so i'm going to click add go into property and add a tracking and set this to minus 70 and now if i preview this we get a very cool animation now one thing that i don't need is the scale animation so i can i can hit s and get rid of the scale animation but now i'm going to add animator 2 as well so i can click right here in the animate and let's add a position which is going to add an animator 2 let's pull this down to around let's go with something like i don't know 20 or minus 20 sorry and now if i animate the range selector or oh sorry and now if i animate the offset of the range selector we get this really interesting look so let's go at around um let's go at around 20 frame all right let's set the offset to minus 100 create a keyframe go to one second and 20 frames set this to 100 all right go into the advanced properties set this to ramp up i believe yep and let's set the ease high to 100 and ease low to 100 so now we have a pretty snappy animation as you can see but even but to make it look even more cooler what i can do is turn on the randomize order and now if i preview this we have a really interesting look maybe i think i will uh, tweak some settings here so i'll set the ease high to 30 percent only and now let's preview this pretty cool and right off the bat as you can see using some very simple you know stuff you can create a very nice looking text animation which looks very modern very snappy and cool as well now before i proceed further with this tutorial let me take a minute and talk about today's sponsor envato elements design better projects faster with envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project create more with premium design assets video templates mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. Now let's jump on to the title 4. So I'm going to create a new composition called this title underscore 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 
4 hit ok let's select the text tool type in the text that we want i'm gonna type in something like designer now this is going to be a one with a bit of complexity but not that difficult very easy and you know quick to do now for this i'm gonna go into the animate and i'm gonna add enable per 3d character all right and then let's go into animate and add a scale let's also add a property of a rotation now because it's per character 3d we have x y and z rotation which is super cool and finally i will add a property of opacity let's set the scale to 50 percent let's set the x rotation to minus 90 and a y rotation to plus 45 and opacity to zero now if i go into my range selector and animate them now let's go into the range selector i'll go to around let's say two seconds set this all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 then go into the advanced properties set the shape to ramp up and set the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 percent so now if i preview this now i'm i need one more animator to animate the scale of this so i'll go into animate and let's add a scale which is going to create an animator to set this to around 120 to get a really interesting look on this and let's animate our range selector so i'll go to around maybe one second and 15 frames looks good let's set the offset to minus 100 create a keyframe go to three seconds and set this to 100 all right go into the advanced properties set this to ramp up and let's increase the ease high ease low again to 100 and now if i preview this let's see what we get pretty awesome now to take this one step further you can also turn on the randomize order and boom this way you will get a random scale out animation for every letter pretty sweet now finally let's jump to our title animation number five so i'll call this title underscore o five and this time i'm going to create a bouncing text animation so i'll call this bounce all right let's align this into the center also align the anchor point into the center now let's jump into the animate and add a position and add a property of opacity let's set the opacity to zero and set the position to 100 go into the range selector i'll go to one second create a keyframe on the offset set this all the way up to 100 go back and set this to minus 100 go into the advanced properties set this to ramp up and set the ease low all the way up to 100 and now we have a very nice animation now let's add one more animator so i'm going to go into animate and add a position just like that and let's set this one to somewhere around minus 60 go into the range selector and let's create an offset animation so i'll go to around let's say five frames forward set this to minus 100 create a keyframe go to one second and five frames and set this to 100 now let's change this one to ramp up but this time i'm going to set ease high and ease low to 50 percent and now if i preview this boom there we have a pretty cool and nice looking bouncy text animation so these are the complete five title animations and i hope you enjoyed it so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video on how to create five different title animation inside of after effects that too without using any plugins and as you saw it's super simple even if you are a beginner in after effects or if you're opening after effects for the very first time still you will be able to create this cool animations so if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to create this kind of you know five title animation kind of series or something on my on this channel then do let me know in the comment section below with that said i will see you guys in the next video also you can follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below till then take care and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out